Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So Kevin Love needs to be traded. And in my opinion, he needs to be traded now before we get to the NBA trade deadline. But before we get into why, definitely guys, go ahead and leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you also have your notifications turned on because we're getting closer and closer to the NBA trade deadline. You need to make sure you guys are up to date on all the latest news going around the National Basketball Association. Now, with Kevin Love, Kevin Love... Of course, he kind of let his emotions get the best of him over the weekend, right? Um, and you've seen the frustration kind of come out on the court. He did not get disciplined by the team in terms of being suspended, anything like that. But I think if you're Cleveland, this is the time you need to move on from Kevin Love. And I'll explain why. For Cleveland, you're a bad team. You're a terrible team. And you need to rebuild, right? You're not a franchise that traditionally gets a ton of free agents. Yes, you did when LeBron James was there, but that was the anomaly. That's not the, the norm, right? So you're not going to get a free agent. You're not a free agent destination. So you need to build through trading and the draft. Basically need to hold guys against their will to stay in Cleveland, basically, right? But Kevin Love is one of the only commodities you have. Tristan Thompson is not going to get you a lot of value. So you're looking at guys, maybe you could move a Colin Sexton, um, but... Kevin Love is a veteran, a guy who a team feels like they can bring in and maybe try to win now. So when you look at teams, I have two teams who I think will be a great fit. You look at teams that will bring in Kevin Love, maybe they trade away a draft pick or two to bring him in, and then you're fine. Then maybe you get a nice, decent player along with some picks, and then that could kind of help you in your rebuilding mode. Now, of course, the first team that comes to mind is the Portland Trailblazers. Now, they're going to have to eat that Kevin Love contract. And we'll talk a little bit more about that contract later. But the four years, $120 million contract, um, this is year one of that deal. They're going to need to eat that. But if you're Portland, you're trying to win. And you're really trying to win now in the next few seasons. You're not trying to wait five years. You're not rebuilding at all. Even though this season has been somewhat of a disappointment for Portland, um, you're not out of it. You still currently have, what, the eight seed. You're right there. Well, really, every team in the Western Conference is there except for Golden State. You're right there in terms of trying to make it to the playoffs. You then need to figure out how to turn that corner and how to start gelling. Carmelo Anthony has been a good addition for you. Hassan Whiteside, ah, very up and down. I think that is a guy you could potentially move, maybe along with some draft picks or a first-round pick, maybe then a scout of BCA, trade them, to Cleveland, they get a nice little starting block point. They get Scal, who's a young guy who could potentially do some things, who I like. Um, you also get that draft pick. You let Kevin Love go. He's now in Portland for the next four seasons because you're not trading him again. If you don't trade him now, I don't think Kevin Love gets traded year three into the four-year deal, right? He's 31. He still has something to give. He can still play. He can still help a team who's already on the cusp of winning a championship. So I think Portland makes a ton of sense a ton of sense now a, a team who's very sneaky but i think they should at least consider this i'm not sure if they will i don't think there's been any indications that they are even thinking about this but i think philadelphia is a team that should at least call kobe admin and say what's the asking price and the reason why i know people are like whoa d lord you're tripping hear me out man Al Horford is reportedly getting frustrated with his role within that organization. People even started saying maybe Al Horford could come back to Boston. Well, forget letting him go back to Boston. I'm like, maybe you could trade him to Cleveland and bring in a Kevin Love, a guy who I think is more than willing to take that lesser role, especially if that team's going to compete. We know Philadelphia is a team that's going to compete, right? Even if they don't make it out of the East. They're a team that's still up there in terms of trying to make it out of the East. He still spreads the floor. He can still shoot the three, especially from the corner. We know what's the Achilles heel of the 76ers is the three ball. They cannot shoot to save their lives. So you get a guy who can shoot. Al Horford can shoot as well a little bit. But you get a guy who can still space that floor, who I think is willing to accept those roles. I think that could help that locker room a little bit more. Uh, for Cleveland... Maybe try to get a draft pick and then you try to reship out Al Horford at a later date. 
Um, but at least you have that veteran president in the locker room for the time being. I think something like that could also potentially work. Like I said, haven't heard anything about it. I think it's something that you consider, though, if you're Philadelphia and you're trying to approve. Now, Kevin Love, one thing that also doesn't get talked about is his contract, right? And I think, obviously, everything was done on purpose. So, when LeBron James left, I don't think nobody, I mean nobody, expected Cleveland to continue to make NBA Finals appearances or really compete for a trip to the NBA Finals again. I thought everybody felt like they're a bottom-dwelling team. They're going to be a team that's in the lottery year after year again, and they're right back to the old Cleveland everybody knows from before. Kevin Love decided to stay, and he decided to stay because he wanted that money. Four years, $120 million. I don't think he really would have gotten that. Maybe he would have, but I don't think a lot of teams was going to give him a four-year deal. Maybe a two-year deal, a three-year deal. Four years, 120 You get that money, and then you start losing. It's too much for you. You want out of there. We've seen this happen before with players, man. They think they can stay on these losing teams. They're up there in age. They really want to win. They're staying in this organization. We've seen it with Carmelo Anthony. It doesn't work out, and you want out. If you go to Portland, you get everything you want. You get the contract you want, and you get a chance to at least compete and try to win your back home. But I think if you're Cleveland, man, you need to move them, and you need to move them before the deadline. The sooner, the better, really. The longer you wait, I think the less value you end up getting back for Kevin Love. But that is my thoughts and opinions, man. You guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. Do you think Cleveland should move Kevin Love before the deadline? Do you think they'll be able to? And if so, what are some destinations that you would like to see Kevin Love go to? And what are some destinations you think are realistic for Kevin Love to go to? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.